everyone, and welcome to our new episode of The Three Whisketeers, the show that likes to share our whiskey and have a lot of fun. We Woo! are angel-haired hipster Curtis, our happy Honduran Eddie, Woo! and I'm Jamie, your host. Uh, today, we have a covered up bottle. Curtis, you arranged this whole deal. You're the guy. I arranged that, it? You're the, you're the man that knows you're the You're the main man. Let's uncover this. Okay, well, we uncovered the bag from Driftless Glen. Driftless okay. Glen's our friends from Wisconsin. Our friends from Wisconsin. Okay. And remember in a past episode, yes. we talked about Driftless Glen 51 Rye Whiskey and how it is only available at the distillery. Wow. Mm. Well, again, with our friends at Ben's and Sharpie from the distillery said, do a show on it. Now, we can, you can only get this at the distillery. Really? And I had a tiny little bit. Mmm. And I was just blown away. I really like this rye. Okay. I like it better than their other rides. I mean, their other rides are really good, but this one I really like. So, and this is how I was described. We are proud to present this rye whiskey, handcrafted in the traditional Maryland style. 51 rye sh uh, showcases the softer, sweeter side of rye. 51% rye mash, 51% alcohol, and 100% driftless. Oh yeah! We have we have touched each bottle. <laughs> so there's a two thumbs up. Please share our dream and taste the American spirit. Distilled aged for more than two years in New Oak and bottled in Driftless Glen Distillery in Baraboo, Wisconsin. So, for those who don't know, when it says distilled by law, it means that it was, everything was done in-house. So this is this is all in uh, Baraboo. Now, um, I missed the uh, tasting because I was terribly ill. Mm. But you met Sharpie at the tasting. That was who that was. That, okay. and, really? And, and, uh, and well, I wish I knew that. And, and uh, you, uh, you, you had a discussion Didn't with him. He asked you to do something. Okay, he said he'd like to maybe chance of us going up to there and doing a show. Yeah, well, maybe we'll just do that. <laughs> be nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, that's an ultimate goal for sure. Yeah. So let's. Uh, Let's open how, this. How long ago was it when you you tried that last? Oh, I think about six months. Oh, recently. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. not that long ago. Right. And uh, we had their bourbon um, not that long ago, and it's actually pretty special stuff. It's it's the one that we... Uh, the Ben Special. The Ben Special. Yeah, the yeah. Ben Special. Get $5 off. Yeah. If you mention uh, Three Whisketeers. Oh, I love that color. Oh, isn't that Ooh, beautiful? Geez. Boy, this is dark. Oh, I'm wearing glasses. Sorry. It is dark, though. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, a bit for burn. Getting but to the nose uh, is definitely a rye to the nose. <laughs> uh, it's it's I don't want to say st strong, but you can definitely tell there is it's um, high content of alcohol in there. What was the percent? You didn't say that. Did it's fifty one percent. Fifty one percent. Fifty one percent. And actually, oh man, uh, there's a slight caramel in there. I don't want to say vanilla, but it's something kind of soft. Let me see. Let me do the nostril. <laughs> yeah. Forget about that. You know, there's so many different takes on rye. Yeah. It smells sweet, too. Yeah. This this is a real... This is not... You know, there's a lot of different ryes out there. Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of them have different characters. Yeah. This one has a character all its own. Yeah. And its uniqueness makes it kind of special. Yes. I would say if you get a chance to run to that distillery and get a bottle... You should because this is this is a, a different take on rye than when you normally think of. Right. So it, this is Maryland sweeter. style. Um, I'm not sure what Maryland style is, um, and I, maybe I should have done a little research. But it seems like we're gonna have something special. Have you guys? Seen? Absolutely amazing. Now I've had their their regular rye, yeah, and it's it's a decent rye, but I really like the uniqueness of this rye. What is the difference? What is the difference between their regular rye and well, this you know, is Maryland I really don't know, style? But, I, and it's fifty one percent alcohol. And I'm not sure what Maryland style means. I yeah. haven't I haven't studied that, but it's it's just it's a fun ride. Dude, this thing is spicy. Yeah. I it mean is. this is like 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 my, my tongue is like like I ate some some spicy food. It, um, it's it's spicy, but it, it is gentle and mellow. Mm -hmm. Where a lot of rides that have this much flavor and this much spice are really harsh. Mm -hmm. This one has got a really mellow edge. And uh, boy. Anytime they want to send us a bottle, I'll, I'll, I'll be happy to take it. You know, they sent one bottle, but really there's four of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's up with that? But you know what? Sure, Talk, in the talking about this, though, uh, when they, when I first take it, 
It's like it's regular. We're dancing. We're dancing over yeah. here. There's some. I guess it is the burn, and there's uh, the spice or something. It's, it does mm -hmm. tingle. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a lot of that. It's like, boy, it's enjoyable. Yeah, there is a spice in there that is really neat. Maybe I think it might be like it's kind of like cinnamon. Yeah, cinnamon spice. Yeah, you're right. But, there is a, there is a, almost a sense of cinnamon there. I don't know that it really is cinnamon. But, yeah, but it, but it is there. Yeah, I, I really like the color. I love that color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, a gorgeous. Color. The the nose is interesting and complex. The taste on the palate is just full and really intense, but not so intense that it like burns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, for me, it doesn't burn. I don't know. About no, it's a, no, it's, no, 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 no. Uh, the burn is there and it's noticeable, but it's not overwhelming at all. Yeah. But I, what I really appreciate is a lot of rice finish and they get really bitter. Yeah. I'm not getting the bitterness in the finish on this rye. Yeah. And yeah. I, I, I really like that. Yeah. I think if somebody wants to try rye for the first time, what do you think? What do you think? Is this a good one or do you think we should try something a little bit milder? You know what? I don't know. I think, you know, like Zazarak is one of my favorite rice and it does have that slight bitter end at the end. And some people don't like that, but this does not. So I would think maybe try both of those and say, hey, uh, you might go towards this end where it's spicy or towards Zazarak when it's a little bitter and it has that that it, it uh what do you call that dissipates really fast yeah but sazerac i would use as a mixer yeah this i would not use as a mixer no 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 no, 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 no this no, is something no, no. that i am going no, to this is actually enjoy. yeah you can actually just sit there and enjoy this sazerac i do enjoy it straight uh no uh, neat but uh it, it is goes well with drinks with uh cocktails but this this is something we can just you can just chill this is good for sipping. And when I say chill, I mean Burn chilling. Opinions? Um, I'm getting some sort of maple syrup sense. Mm. Yeah, you're right. Mm. Especially Very in the nose. Place. And then there's, underneath that, there's kind of a spiciness. Flavor-wise, it's just a very strong, intense rye. It's good. Yeah. Um, I'm not, I can't really... I can't specify or articulate what the flavors are that are there. I just know it's good. It works. It yeah. works. Whatever they it's, did, it whatever works. Whatever they did, it's like it's like they're 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 going to different profiles and they're just kind of dancing somewhere in the middle. And the thickness of it, you kind of just get kind of lost. You're like, I don't know what it is, but I like it. And then boom, there's a little spice. I'm going to uh, savor this for a long time. Mm, so I don't blame you. I'm gonna you know when people come over and people who really appreciate whiskey. Mm -hmm gonna give them a shot you guys come over and we're not doing a show maybe we'll open up a bottle and <laughs> share a little bit because it was for all the whisketeers yeah. even though it's not leaving my house <laughs> to to thank our friends at Ben's That's definitely right. friends of the show always and we need to thank Driftless Ben and Sharpie for giving us a bottle because like I said this bottle does not come out of the state of Wisconsin and it's only available at the distillery that's right and he brought it to us and that is a really special. That is really special. And you know what? We are hoping to uh, get in contact with them more further and maybe even pay maybe pay, even pay them a visit. Well, or, or maybe they'll like send us some other bottles of some of the unique stuff yeah. they do. Yeah. Yeah, that would be kind of fun. We highly yeah, encourage kind of, yeah, kind that. Of like, um, yeah, we highly, like, kind of like those those test bottles we had that we don't know what they were going to become. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, stuff that was like, fun. Yeah, we That was really that. fun. Yeah. And maybe, I'm sure they have stuff like that. But you know what? I don't know. This is going to be an ongoing discussion, and I'm, I'm really grateful that they kind of stepped up. I think it's really good. Um, I think normally by if it's a whiskey that I really like, this is gone. This isn't gone because I don't want it to be over. That's how much I like it. Yeah. I don't want to finish this. But we have a whole bottle. We do have a whole bottle, but I don't want that to disappear either. I will. Please don't forget to, to like, and share, share, and most importantly... Uh, subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe to our show. <laughs> all right. It takes one second. We appreciate all the support. We really and, do. Uh, all the comments and everything that we've been getting. We encourage you to keep pushing that along. And with that. All for one. And one for one all. One for all. Oh, yeah. Yeah.